Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is evaluate reverse Polish notation. So in this problem, we will be given an arithmetic expression in reverse Polish notation. So if you do not know what reverse Polish uh, notation is, I would highly recommend just go through this article here. And so this is reverse Polish uh, notation which is given to us and we have to evaluate it and we have to give the output. So valid operators are plus minus multiplication division. Okay, it is guaranteed that there will be always a valid answer for this expression. Okay. And there would be no division by zero operation. So it's fine that it will give you the correct output. So let's see how we can approach this problem. So see, what we uh, basically what is the answer, how we have to evaluate it. So this two and this one, whatever the operation is before these, that operation will be so basically for so let's say this is operation right so the numbers two numbers which are previous to this operation this operation will be executed on those two numbers so two plus one so we get three so this whole thing is replaced by three then left is this okay so now here this is our operation so previous two numbers which is this and this so this operation will be applied on those two previous numbers. So 3 into 3, 9. So 9 will be the output. Okay. So guys, wherever, whenever you have to, like you, you are involving some previous numbers, right? Previous numbers. You have to use previous numbers. In that case, you can think of using a stack. Because in stack, we can know the previous number. So if this is x, this is y, we can know y. Okay. By popping x, by popping x, we can know y. So we will use stack in this problem. So let's quickly see how we can use stack. Two one plus three star. So we'll take a stack. We will iterate this string from starting. If we get a digit, if this is a digit, so we will simply add it in the stack. So when again we go, this is a digit, we will add it in the stack. Then we go and we see, okay, this is an operation. So whenever there is operation, we will pop the last two elements. Let's say X, we are storing this one and pop the last two elements. And we will apply the operation that is X plus Y because plus was the operation, right? So X plus Y, which is three. Now this three, this three, we will store in the stack. Okay, this three will go in the stack. Now we iterate further, we go to 3, this is a digit, add it into the stack, we go further, we see multiplication, multiplication, right, uh, so previous two numbers, x is what, 3, this is popped, that is, this is now removed from the stack, now uh, the next previous number is 3, so y is equal to 3, so this multiplication will be done on x multiplied y, that is 3 multiplied 3 will be 9. Okay, 9 is the output. So you can similarly check this out. This, uh, uh, this one. So this is a very simple problem. Let's see the code quickly. So uh, in the code, what we are doing is same thing. We will iterate on each of the character which is in this vector. Okay. And we have created this uh, set which is storing all the operations. So if here we will checking if the current, this character, if it is a digit, that is, it's not, it's not, we are not able to find it in this operation set. So obviously it means it's a digit. So we'll push it in the stack. And we'll convert it into integer. Because we have to, uh, like we have to uh, find the output as integer. Return as integer, see integer. Otherwise, if it's not in uh, a digit, it is in this, uh, one of these operations. So we'll push, we'll pop the two elements from the stack. Accordingly, whatever the operation is. We will do the result. We will uh, evaluate it and we will add it in the stack. Like here, we th added 3, right? In the stack. And at last, we will return stacks top. So I hope you understood the problem and the approach. Time complexity is O of n and space complexity is O of n. If you found the video helpful, please like it. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. And do subscribe my channel. Thank you.